Um, what's going on with Joe Judge? I, I didn't like him coming in as a coach, but it sounds like he's kind of losing control of his So team. this is another guy from that Patriots organization that, uh, well, you know, the Patriots do things a certain way. He's uh, He was, what, a special teams coach? Yep. So they have all – they work with all these different types of players, so they should make a good transition into that head coaching. I don't trust anybody coming out of New England as a head coach in that Bill Belichick system. They had three guys – in four days retire Mm -hmm. that is not a great look now why they retired hasn't fully come out but there are reports that they're doing extra workouts push-ups sprints they get into a massive brawl that ends with your qb1 on the bottom of a pile and just an all-out brawl i don't trust joe judge i I don't like Daniel Jones. I didn't like Daniel Jones coming out. Yep. He was way overdrafted. I mean, Baker said some things that he maybe should not have said to the media about, God, how the hell do you take that guy that high? Yeah, but that's that's your normal moxie of a quarterback that's, you know, feeling like, hey, I'm going to – I'm whether or not the chip is on my shoulder, I'm going to make sure you all know there's a chip on my shoulder yeah. and I'm going to I'm going to fight. So, it's whatever. It, Daniel Jones is just – he's so tapioca as far as it goes with, with – uh, you know, quarterbacks. Well, He's just vanilla. He's nothing special. And um, we talk. We we have buried Sam Darnold a couple times because he was so turnover prone. Mm-hmm. Daniel Jones is in the same boat. Now he's yep. not throwing as many picks, but he's got to stop eating that popcorn before games because he fumbles so damn much. Like they don't have a ton of weapons. Saquon is coming back, so we'll see what happens there, but. Saquon is a very twitchy guy. There's a potential for injuries there. Can the entire offense run through Saquon and allow Daniel Jones to use play action off of that and make him better? Maybe. I don't know about that offensive line. They just lost two offensive linemen to retirement because yeah. they don't want to play for fucking Joe Judge. You know, I, uh, I, I don't think anyone other than probably Giants fans were expecting anything uh, other than, you know, average out of the Giants this year um it it should be a sign for management there let's start over again let's get rid of Joe Judge at the end of the year and uh let's reevaluate what we really have in Daniel Jones um and and see if we need to start building for a you know a potential full-on rebuild here in the future um I don't think he's the guy maybe he shows us something this year um but you know it is what it is. I, you, you got Mr. Grumble Pants there, Belichick in in New England, and like you're saying, you can't just pull a guy off of his staff and throw him on a team and expect to have Belichick 2.0. It hasn't happened yet. It's not gonna happen. No. He runs a very unique type of system that he's the only one that seems to be able to do it. You know. So. Yeah, I don't, and that's the thing. Like, so Bill Belichick has made this work. Every other guy that has left has tried to do that same Bill Belichick thing, and it doesn't work. That is not a standard way to do things. Now, Belichick was fantastic. That 20-year stretch that the Patriots had is probably the best stretch of any team championship contending-wise ever in any sport. We'll never see a dynasty like that again. But Belichick is the exception, not the rule. That does not work everywhere. These guys are paid professional athletes. That rah-rah, getting in your ass type thing doesn't work everywhere. These guys are paid more than the head coach. It's Belichick has found a way for that to work for him, and now that's cemented. But unless you come in with that system and have immediate success, it's not going to work. I don't know why the NFL keeps – shuffling through these guys from Belichick's system thinking, I'm going to get the next Bill Belichick. I'm, you're not. Belichick is a one of one. He is the best coach, NFL coach in history. You cannot just, oh yeah, well he learned from him, so he's going to be the next him. It doesn't work that way. Now everybody has their coaching trees. Now if you want to hire a guy out of Andy Reid's system, those guys typically work out. Belichick's coaching tree is not great. I mean, he's got Vrabel. That's about it. That's the only one that's really had any kind of success. 
that Bill Belichick coaching tree is not built for today's modern NFL. And I think down in Miami, you got another another guy that might end up working out. But yeah, to to you know, just like you're saying, that the coaching tree really isn't there. These guys don't work out elsewhere. It just is what it is. But you have NFL owners and, and GMs that are going to continue to try to find uh, you know gold out of out of that system, um, and it's because NFL owners like the idea of hey, if we can get a bunch of championships in a row. That's exactly what I want. If they're able to do it there in New England, you should be able to come do it for me. They're used to be able to just throw money at a situation and make it work out for them. That's that's what they're going to do. They're not actually looking for those intangibles and, and things in a coach that you want that you know might be a little bit different or new and, and take your team to the promised land. Um, but it is what it is. Giants, fix yourselves. Uh, Joe Judge probably should reevaluate what you're doing with your team. Can't be having uh, these UFC brawls going on in the middle of practice. Yeah, that's not a good look anywhere, whether you're Belichick or the McVay guy. It doesn't matter what system you come from. You can't have a giant brawl in training camp that ends with your QB1 on the bottom of a pile. It's not ever going to be a good look. Yep. So. All right.